Hello everyone, um, in this video I'm going to describe how to use the new snapping features for the No Man's Sky base building tool for Blender. Um, without the snapping tools uh, it can be quite difficult to position uh, your base parts that um, kind of fit the standard that No Man's Sky tries to, to use for building its bases. Um, things like snapping corridor pieces together that need to be quite perfect in order to recognize that they are one sort of corridor. Um, it's quite difficult to do that by using the manual sort of manipulation tools in Blender, so uh, the snapping features aim to ease that workflow. Um, the best way I can kind of show you is just by, um, by just showing you. Uh, so let's start off by um, just building like a corridor piece. Um, which is under main area. Uh, so if we just build a corridor, it places it in the middle. Um, and that's that. So before in the tool, if I pressed a corridor, it would just place another one down in the middle, overlaying it, and you'd have to sort of use these tools to try and position it perfectly uh, where you want it to go. But if we select the object that we want to snap onto and just build another piece then it's going to automatically place it where it needs to go uh, based on some snapping information um, and I can just keep on doing that and it will just extend the hallway uh, in a way that No Man's Sky wants it to um, to be positioned um, so let's just remove that now um, and show you a example of using uh, these tools. So from here, um, if I don't want to find the item in the list and I just want to build the same item, I can just press duplicate, um, which just makes it a bit easier to repeat a process um, that you've built before. Um, so from here, let's build a corridor corner piece. Um, so here we have, we've branched off, and now um, we have some options here. Because uh, I might not want this corridor piece to kind of go off to the right, I might want it to go to the left. Uh, and this is where these options come in here. So if I want to rotate, or if I want to cycle through the different snapping positions for this piece in particular, uh, I want to find the source entry and just press next. This will cycle through. Um, the available snapping points for this particular item. Uh, so if I click next again, it's going to go back to the, uh, the other one because there's only two different types of snapping positions here. Now, the other option is to cycle the target options and this will basically uh, cycle through the snapping position um, relative to the object that you're snapping onto. Um, to so to show you that, if I press next here, it's going to swivel it around to the other side and then from here, um, I can go back to the source area and cycle through them here. Uh, obviously, it doesn't really make sense in this context because uh, I'm just going to go through this other hallway. Um, but they're the two options um, that we have. Um, the best, if you get confused about that, um, the, the sort of easy way to try and remember is that source will basically keep your item in the same position and just see what the available rotations are for it whereas target will kind of swivel it around the object um, that you're snapping to. Um, that becomes a bit more apparent um, in another example I'll show you. So from here, um, I can just kind of keep building. So I can duplicate the corner piece if I want to, go back to a corridor, uh, duplicate that a few bunch, bunch few times. Um, and then let's say from here, I want to kind of cap it off with a um, a doorway and a ramp. So um, what I can do is find the doorway item uh, in the list and I can say build door. Um, the doorway knows the snapping positions of the hallway um, as well as itself so it's just going to place it on there. Um, from here I can decide to cycle them as well but that doesn't make sense because it'll go through the other side. Um, usually it will try and figure out what the best place is based on the entry. Um, based on the item you select. Um, so to do something like this, you generally don't need to touch the, the cycling options. Uh, and then from here, I can build a ramp. 
So building a ramp will snap it onto the, the area here. Uh, and I can change the angle of this by changing the source, uh, the target, sorry. So I can just go through and see what the steepness is. Um, I can just probably do it there. Um, and if I want to, I can make this longer as well. So I can just keep on building a few more ramps um, to extend it out. Um, so quite quickly, you can already build something that actually resembles something within the game rather than having to... In fact, I don't even think I used the, the manipulation tools uh, for that example. Um, from here, um, the snapping basically acts upon the item you've selected. So if I want to build a doorway here, all I need to do is just select the item um, and choose to build another door. Uh, in this case, it's placed on this side because that's kind of where we branched off here. So I just need to cycle around to the next target to bring it back here. Uh, and then from here, I can build some more ramps, uh, bring it down again, and do it that way. Um, another way you can snap uh, is this option here, which I've not showed you yet. So this is just a way of, if you have like an item sort of randomly positioned, uh, like so, what you want to do is select the item you want to snap to and the item that you're moving uh, and just press snap um, and it'll just bring it into place and you can kind of carry on from there if you want to so I can just keep on um, building some more things like so um, and yeah carry on like that um, yeah, so that covers these the sort of corridors, just an example. Um, but I will show you as well uh, the just some of the more basic um, elements, and then we can finish off the video. Um, so let's build a uh, wooden floor, and this is just to further uh, further show you the the difference between target and source. Uh, so if I build another floor. Uh, well, let's just duplicate. Uh, now from here, what if I wanted it to go like either on the right side or down here or over here, then I can switch the target. So I can just go boom, boom, boom. Um, and if I wanted to rotate it in its spot, then I would rotate, uh, I would cycle through the source uh, like so. Um, so from here, what I could probably do is, is try to build a grid um, where all of them are aligned. So if I do duplicate, all of these are fine. Duplicate again, swivel it around. Uh, but here, they've kind of switched the orientation to be vertical. So let's swivel it around on the source and then duplicate again. That's kept its orientation. Duplicate again, swivel the target, swivel the source. Duplicate, duplicate, target, source. Um, cool, so we have like a sort of uh, three by three grid. Uh, but now what if I want to build a hall, uh, a, uh, a wall? So let's press wall. That's already placed it into position where we want it, which is good. Um, and then let's build another one. So let's duplicate. Uh, that's placed it on top. Um, let's just go with that. So let's make a few of those. Uh, uh, and let's say we want to kind of rotate down and build this section here. So what we can do is rotate the target. Um, now this is kind of, this is just based on the snap points that I've defined. Um, I might clean this up, but um, this doesn't really kind of look right for um, the game so if you hit something like this you can just rotate the source to look like something a bit more appropriate um, but actually we don't want this position so let's go to the target again and it will swivel it around to where we want it and then we can go duplicate swivel around until we get to the bottom do the source um, and then duplicate down and we can carry on until we get this kind of pillar shape here
And there we go. So without actually having to use the manipulation tools and just these snapping tools, we can or we can build something that um, is kind of more acceptable uh, for what No Man's Sky wants you to build. Um, yeah, so that, that kind of finishes off the video. Um, I hope that becomes useful for anyone using this tool, and uh, I will see you again.